Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. China knows that the United States is a big country in science and technology, and its status in the world is also very high. They are even far ahead of other countries in many fields, and many products are very famous in the world, and they have become everyone's first choice. However, the speed of China's development in the past 10 years should not be underestimated, especially in terms of science and technology. The United States has also felt an unprecedented crisis. In order to contain China's development, the United States has suppressed China in many fields. For example, ZTE and Huawei, both of which have been sanctioned by the United States, but China believes that sooner or later it will suffer a backlash, and now the backlash has appeared. In the past, China used imported chips, but judging from the data of the past two years, the number of chips imported by China in the whole year of last year has been much less than before, about 84 billion chips. And not only in this way, there are also a lot less imports of lithography machines. This also means that China's dependence on other countries is gradually decreasing, which has also brought a painful blow to many American companies. Recently, many media have released news that some mid-range and Snapdragon chips will be reduced in price, including 400 and 600 SoC processing systems. It is not difficult for China to guess that this is a plan that companies came up with to retain customers. You must know that there are not many well-known mobile phone brands. Samsung can be counted as one, and most of them are domestically produced. However, Qualcomm has its unique advantages. It broke into the public's field of vision, such as its performance and patents. Basically, as long as the chip is updated, this is the object of everyone's competition, but it is also because of this that American companies are now thinking of reducing prices, especially for domestic users, in order to occupy a place in the Chinese market. After the United States imposed sanctions on China, domestic companies are also trying to achieve independence and everyone has invested a lot of money for this. In addition, American chips are not applicable. Last year's data showed that MediaTek is now the leader in the industry. Even Qualcomm is no match for it. It has become a thing of the past. These changes are all due to the sanctions imposed by the United States. Not only did it fail to affect China's chip supply, but instead promoted it. The research and development of Chinese technology, and has also become a well-deserved boss. And with the support of many advantages, the current situation has been changed, but this is not a bad thing for customers. After all, everyone wants to buy the best products at the lowest price. The analysis agency has given the ranking of the global IoT chip market. The data shows that Chinese chips have taken the lead in the IoT chip market, while the US-based Qualcomm has lost in the IoT chip market. After the failure, it failed in another chip market. Statistics show that in 2022, Qualcomm will rank first in the global Internet of Things chips, but Qualcomm's market share is only 33%. The Internet of Things chip business in the current situation is not dominant. Among the top 10 in the IoT chip market, five are chip companies from mainland China, and their combined market share has reached 49%. Unisoc and ASR Microelectronics rank second and third, if MediaTek in Taiwan, China, the total market share of Chinese chip companies has reached 55%. In 
In 2022, the mobile phone shipments in the global market will fall by 12% year-on-year, falling to 1.2 billion units. It is still unclear which device will replace mobile phones. Qualcomm saw this trend and began to lay out the Internet of Things chip market. However, its performance in the Internet of Things chip market now shows that it is difficult to replicate the glory of mobile phone chips. So can Qualcomm's move really recover the loss and return to the peak? Many media have given their own views, it's too late, so why is this happening? First, too much performance is more complicated. It is difficult to break through chip technology now. It is even more difficult to achieve innovation, and now the cuts are serious. Most manufacturers no longer need chips. That is to say now there is no demand in the market, even if they are going to use the machine C strategy. It is also impossible to increase the sales of mobile phones in a short period of time, so their reforms are useless. If the problem can be realized earlier, it may be saved, but it is definitely not possible now. Second, even though the price of Qualcomm is now much lower than before, it has no advantage in the low-end market because they have a strong opponent, that is MediaTek, which was aimed at this area at the beginning. Naturally, it is more attractive than Qualcomm in all aspects, which is one of the important reasons why MediaTek can develop so well now. The last and most important point is that a new company has begun to emerge. Since Kirin disappeared, there has been a new product to replace it, and that is Unisoc. Many people may not be familiar with it. But it is indeed a company that has developed relatively well in recent years. It was even stronger than Samsung at one time. It has successfully squeezed into the top five in the world and is currently ranked fourth. The growth rate of chips has reached 122% and it has reached 38% year-on-year, which shows that this is a company with super strength. Moreover, their latest research and development products are also using the best technology at present, that is, the 6 nanometers manufacturing process. It lasts longer, so compared to Qualcomm, obviously more people are willing to choose it, because their advantages are enough and attractive enough. Summary, their positioning is very clear, that is, the middle and low-end people, and the high-end is the field of Qualcomm. China does not know whether it has plans to enter the high-end in the future, but it is not difficult for China to see that Unisoc will develop in the future. It's getting better and better. Science and technology is a manifestation of a country's strength. Although China's current technological strength has yet to be developed, I believe that China's technological strength will definitely get better and better in the future, and more companies will be able to go abroad and go global.